Jeff here from GCD Property. Welcome along to our explainer video. So following on our previous video on showing you the example of a cash flow positive type dual income property, uh, today's explainer video is on actually real property, my last uh, purchase and uh, my best ever yielding property. So looking at the front of the property there, so a fairly traditional, look like a traditional home, but in fact we have two rental sort incomes. So what is a dual income property? So it's on one block of land, one title. We have two, two dwellings under the one roof, so two rental uh, incomes, uh, one set of rates and insurances, and uh, no body corporate, so hence the very high yielding type. So looking at the uh, floor plan there, on the left hand side of the property we have uh, a two, be two bedroom residence, so its own entrance, fully self-contained, own our fresco area, etc. So very nice there. And on the right hand side there, we have the entrance way, uh, master bedroom with its own bathroom and then two further bedrooms with a separate bathroom as well. So you know, on our fresco totally separate. Through the centre here we have a fire soundproof wall and that extends out to the back boundary. Uh, so looking at the front as I mentioned it's designed to look like a traditional home but in fact we have two rental income sources. Uh, view from the fresco there at the, at the back and you can see the fence dividing the two properties so each tenant has their own uh, privacy. So a quick look at the internal finishes, so finished to a very high spec as you can see there, stone bench tops, uh, high uh, gloss finishes everywhere, uh, security screens, uh, ceiling fans in all the rooms, air conditioners etc and LED downlights. So again a very nice spec property uh, that I've actually got myself. So looking through the kitchen there, uh, gas appliances, very well equipped and finished. So now it's all about the numbers, so look at, look at the numbers based on the real uh, purchase situation. So purchase price at the time was $600,000, um, about $20,000 for purchase costs, so these were uh, stamp duty, uh, solicitor's costs, etc. Uh, so total uh, funds required $620,000, uh, well, I put in a 10% deposit plus costs, in this case $80,000, so that left me with a loan uh, balance of $540,000. So looking at the uh, expenses versus income, uh, so the loan there, 540000 3.5% with a principal and interest loan, so we're paying the loan off, or the tenants are paying the loan off, uh, so yearly mortgage payments, 32000 and about 8500 for rental expenses, so rates, property management, insurance, etc. So total expenses, 40500 so then when we look at the actual income, uh, 785 a week combined for the two properties uh, on about 50 weeks of income, so allowing for a bit of vacancy right there, so 39,250 uh, and about 7,500 in tax deductions. So total income there of 46,750. So the net result of that is each year we're receiving a passive income off that property uh, to the tune of about $6,250. And if you multiply that over the next 10 years, 62,500, or over the next 30 years of the loan term, uh, 187,000. And that's without factoring in uh, rental increases. So the true numbers are actually going to be much higher than that. So looking at the long-term benefits of the property, uh, so we've not only had the tenants pay that loan off uh, in the next 30 years, uh, we've also generated a minimum of 187,500 in passive income. We've also got the upside of the property growth, the net wealth from the property. So we get a combined uh, income from the passive income from the property and also the equity growth in the property as well. So very high performing and at the end of the day we've had someone else actually pay that property off for us and give us a, a passive income as well on top of that. So you can see why the numbers stack up so well and why I've actually built a couple of these myself. So if you like the numbers and how the property would operate and you'd like to see what options there are for you based on your personal situation, uh, please contact me on the details below uh, on via email, phone or messenger. Uh, and thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Cheers.